Okay, this is lesson three. Remember, we're working on the Earth's, the unit, Earth's place in the universe. So for lesson three, let's think about this question. How long is the sun in the sky? Hmm, have you ever thought about that? How long is the sun in the sky? Our last lesson, we discovered where the sun was in the sky. And we, re we remembered or learned that the sun rises in the east and it sets in the west. All right, so let's take a look at this question. Why do you think it is darker for a longer time in the winter than in the summer? All right. So you get up. So when you wake up in the summer, it's light outside, but in the winter, it is dark outside. What questions do you have about this phenomenon? Why does that happen? Why is it when you get up in the summer, the sunlight's, the sun's already up for you, but in the winter, um, it's, it's still dark when you get up. All right, so let's research it. It, you, it is usually light or dark. Is it usually light or dark when you get up? Does the sun always rise at the same time? How could you find out? All right. Well, let's take a look at the seasons. Each season is different. One of the ways the seasons are different is how long the sun is in the sky. Hmm, how long is the sun in the sky in the different seasons? Let's find out. Be ready to write down the number of hours for each season. Okay, grab your whiteboard. Let's see if you can figure out the number of hours for each season. So we have winter, spring, summer, fall. Okay, so let's take a look here. It's rising in the east. These are the hours. So it is the first day of summer at this little house. This animation will show you the number of hours the sun is in the sky. Each sun is one hour. Let's count the number of hours of daylight together. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 hours of daylight in summer. Let's look at fall. Now, it is the first day of fall at this little house. Let's count how many hours of daylight are in the fall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Oh, remember we had 15 hours in the summer. So we have a little less sunlight hours in the fall. I wonder what happens in the winter. So here is winter. Now it is the first day of winter at this little house. Let's count the number of hours of daylight. I wonder, think to yourself, do you think it will be more days than the fall? or less days than the fall. Because in the summer, we had 15 hours. In the fall, we had 12 hours. I wonder what will happen in the winter. Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you also notice something else? Look how close how low the sun is. It is not rising as high or it doesn't appear to rise as high in the winter as it does in the summer. Let's go back to the fall. Look how high it is in the fall compared to where it was in the winter. Let's go back to the summer. Look how high it is in the summer. The higher it is in the sky, it allows, it takes longer, right? We have more hours of daylight because it, the sun, the earth is traveling differently around the earth. The earth is traveling differently around the sun in the summer than it is 
in the fall and the winter. Look how much lower the horizon is. Let's take a look at spring. Now, this is the first day of spring at the little house. Count the number of daylight hours. So I wonder what will happen. It will, in spring, do we get more than in the winter or less than in the winter? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm, I think the spring matched what other season? I think if you thought fall, I think you're right. So let's talk about this. Is the sun in the sky the same number of hours each day? Well, how do we know? Well, one, we could make an observation. Two, we saw the patterns that it made in our video. How long is the sun in the sky? Is there a pattern? Well, I think there is a pattern. Didn't you find that fall and spring were very similar in their number of hours that the sun was in the sky? Is the sun in the sky the same number of hours each day? How do you know? Well, it's not because it depends on how the earth, what season we're in. And as we're moving closer to another season, the earth will continue to um, rotate um, around the sun. Because remember, there are 365 days in the year. So as it rotates around the sun, as the earth rotates around, the number of hours are going to change because each day it is moving around the sun. How long is the sun in the sky? Is there a pattern? Well, we talked about that. You can go, we talked about that in the video, how in the winter there's the least number of hours and in the summer there's the most number of hours, but spring and fall are very similar. Okay, so what Use what we have learned to explain. When I wake up in the summer, is it light outside? Yep, it is light outside because there is the most daylight hours in the summer. Does the sun rise at the same time each day? Nope, it can't because we otherwise we would have the same number of daylight hours and we don't. Does it set at the same time? Again, remember how in the winter, the horizon was much lower. The sun passing over the earth appeared much lower than in the summertime. So it does not set at the same time either. And as we're getting closer and closer to summer now, you'll notice that we're getting more and more hours of daylight after school. Which, during which season is the sun in the sky the longest? Well, I hope you're thinking that that is summer. You are right. All right, let's take a look at our questions for this unit. Lesson three, how long is the sun in the sky? Make sure you fill out your name, your building. Are there more or less hours of daylight in the winter? Explain how you know. All right, you can review any parts of the video that you need. We'll see you all later, bye.